really tired. Do we need to sit like this the entire time? It is a bit much, Ash. Fine! Relax. This can all be over. All I want is answers! Ah, yes, because the best way to solve a problem is to put a gun in it. Look, I don't know why we're here, but please, let us go. You know why you're here! Mm, I don't think they do. Please, we, we really don't. Call it. I don't have a lot of money, but you can have my phone and whatever's left in my wallet. We promise we won't tell the police. I am the police! What the hell is that? Forget about that. Wait a minute. You're the police. You can't do this. This is like against the law. She's got a point. Xavier Jacobs was murdered by one of his ex-girlfriends. And I'm looking at them. Paige, Tatum, and Shannon. Do we look like murderers to you? Look, Xavier was a lying dickhead, but not enough for me to kill him. What do you mean by lying? His stories never added up. He was never where he said he was. Sounds like motive to me. Xavier wasn't always like that though. He used to be sweet and nice. Caring and loving. Wow, he sounds like a great guy. Until he wasn't. <sighs> Spoke to soon. And then what? How did he change? Answer me! Xavier had a darkness in him. I can't explain it, but something was just off. Wait, you all broke up with him? Tell me why! I can't hear you! Speak! The TV is too loud! The TV isn't on. is advised. Today marks one year after the infamous serial killer, Xavier Peterson, was caught and shot dead by his girlfriend at the time, Detective Ashley Van Vake. 